there's some crappies headed this way. There's a couple other big marks coming in this way. This wind is atrocious, that's why I brought the, uh, the escape. Oh yeah, they're the crappies. Oh yeah, they're the crappies for sure. Coming this way, kind of. Got a five foot hook set. Oh, it's a perch. Wrong species. Wrong species, but a fish nonetheless. Got him. Well, the arm might be all perch. That's annoying. It's a big school of perch. Got him. Just one after another. That's pretty big though. 50 feet that way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, four. Definitely just drilled around on top of their heads, guys, so let's go over there. And there they are. I don't know if they're crappy or perch yet. Right in the transducer you go. Nice, how nice of you. I mean, each one of these is an eater, for sure. For sure. All right, we gotta move, we gotta move. Too many big perch. Got him. Oh, there is crappy in here, finally! There we go. That's the right species we're talking about right there. Good old paper mouse. Good old paper mouse. Going back down. Or not. Well, we got wind today. It's the only reason I'm in a shack. Oh, that's a big crappy coming up to it right now. I got the freaking mega school below me here. Not really below me, like they're 30 feet that way, so I might just go drill a hole. So welcome back to the channel, guys and girls. We're in this Escape 2400 from uh, Eskimo, and we've been bouncing around on the snow dog, looking for these little crappy. And they're, they're not balled up, like in the water column. They are crushed to the bottom for whatever reason. Maybe it's fishing pressure, maybe it's uh, barometric pressure. I'm not really sure why, but they're being very annoying. Very annoying to find, I probably drilled I don't know, 20 holes. This could be a pickle, but it's coming in like super hot. I think I'm gonna move the, the 30 feet. I have to go that way. Here, let me show you on the GoPro here. So, that's where I need to be. Right over there, and that's where I am. There's a bunch coming, a bunch of new fish coming in right now. Let's see if they wanna bite. Got it. Finally, big slob yellow perch. Kind of what I expected. Slob yellows. Let's try one of my new plastics here. And since we're only fishing for a panfish perch crappy bluegill, I'm gonna shorten it up a little bit. Just pound this in the mud here and see if anything comes on over. I'm fishing for panfish. I don't really care if it's crappie or or, or uh, perch today. Or even bluegill. It's not a lot of bluegill or, or uh, sunnies in here. I found. Got yeah, whatever it is. That feels like a crappie. Yes. Crapsters. Finally, some slops. See if I can catch another one down there. Goal is to keep them fired up. They're all under me right now. Ooh, they liked it in the mud. Got it. 
Literally, I've never had them eat. And it's a beast too. Never had them eat out of the mud before. Another one. Love fishing for crappie. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Ow. Pin him right in the top of the mouth, guys. I know you guys probably can't really see that, but that's where he's at. That was a big one down there now. But these are decent size. These are like eater size. I have started a feeding frenzy. That one came up to like 10 feet down. Yes. They are amped up now. Just had four of them slam into each other for this. Oh, and it's a freaking monster. A freaking monster, guys. Freaking monster. Got one. Oh, I lost him. There's a giant coming in right now. That's got to be either a giant crappie or a bass. This big one right here. We are about to slay them in about two seconds here. But the amount of crappie down there right now are in sync. All right, let's go over the, uh, my panfish tackle real quick while these, I'm waiting for these crappie to come in. So I'm using the uh, Alpha 29 from Circle Tackle. They make a 27 inch and a 25 inch, I'm pretty sure but it's got that super sensitive uh, high visibility tip that loads up and you can see a bite and then it loads up. You can see bites in both directions, both positive and the negative direction when they up hit. So crappy is notorious for that. I'm using the PC Fun or PC Fun uh, Carbon ICX, which I think is last year's model. They might have come out with a new one. It's okay, it works. Um, I bought it because I was gonna use it for lake trout, but the drag is a little too light. I'm using 10 pound braid, ice line braid. What's in the smell? Come on, back over here. I'm using a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I should be using like four pound or something like that. And I actually did have four pound on and I switched over because I was doing something weird. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I fish with either four pound or six pound. Come on, bite it. You know, you want to. Oh. I'm gonna make this even smaller. I'm using a glow jig that's a seven millimeter from a Circle Tackle. And then a little tiny paddle tail, which is what I call my pin smell. That just came out. Pre-orders are happening right now uh, because I've had a bunch of interest in them already. So I'll leave a link from my website below and Circle Tackle. Oh, that one is fired up. Something's got to eat. Come on. What is wrong with you guys? They must be tiny, crappy or something. And if I had any sort of live bait with me, I would probably be catching more, but I forgot, I always, always forget the worms. I'm gonna like tattoo it to my car keys or something. I don't know. I think there's a, a bass or a, that could be a pickerel. Check my drag because last time I caught a pickerel, did not end well. <laughs> Took off and broke me off instantly. But see that wind? Staying out of that wind. Mm. My sides are not screwed down because I was, wasn't was 100% sure I was going to stay here, but. Not ideal. Try that again. They're coming in, but they're not like really hungry anymore. I had that little little flurry, and that was it. I 
It's gotta be a pickle or a bass down there that's like preventing anything from biting. This is a weird looking fish. It's either like a, a bullhead or a bass or a pickerel. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him, finally. And it's a big slob, that's why. They're a little skittish, a little skittish now. I don't know why, just, just different school, I guess. Gotta love when you can't, they get pinned right in the top of the mouth there and you can't get the hook out. There's a beauty, some golden slabs right there. But I have the whole force field of fish around me right now. My goodness, my goodness. Trying to keep it away from him. I got whatever this is, and it's big. I had something snagged. I'm, I'm guessing it was a pickerel or something. So it just broke me off. Frickety frackety frack. But they don't, what? They don't want to bite. What the hell? I think our crappies have left don't sit up, guys. Don't sit up, Josh. Well, that definitely spooked him. All right. I think our crappies have left us, so let's uh, pack this up and then buzz around with just the snow dog and uh, see if we can find them again. But uh, we have to move some camera stuff, reel up some rods, try not to uh, get knocked over by the by the wind. Like I said, I, I didn't know if we were going to stay here, so I didn't screw down the corners of this, but if I'm sleeping overnight or something like that, I will screw, screw down all four corners.